hey hi guys welcome to the channel in this video i'm going to show you how to run um, sfml in your dev c++ let's get started now if you wanted to learn how to run sfml in your code blocks or visual studio i have separate videos for that you can check out and i also have tutorials on sfml you can check out them too link will be in description now let's get started. The first step is we have to download SFML library from the official site. So go to the official site and then click on this download button and you will be in this page. After this, uh, mostly people gonna click on this SFML stable version one, uh, stable uh, page, but um, we don't want to click here we want to use older version why because 64 bit uh, T, tdm 64 bit is not available right now here so that's why i will use the older version i have tried the latest versions these stable version but these are not working at all so we will go to the older version and then download this 2.4.2 and from here we will download this uh, 64 bit uh, tdm s j l j 64 bit click on download that's it this is the first step now the uh, second step is download dev c++ most of people uh, download older versions of uh, dev c++ and that's where you go wrong make sure you download at least for four point uh, 9.2 version of uh, dev c++ i'm using this version uh, in the tutorials uh, after this let's just install the dev c++ the process is simple <laughs> next 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 and install that's all you have to do let me close this uh, uh, dev c++ so i can show you everything from scratch now the first step will be of course open your dev c++ and then click on the file and then click on the new and from here we will choose the project choose windows application then choose the language and press ok and of course give name to your project i will just create new folder in desktop i will name it uh, hey i will name it hey and inside this folder I will save my project one that's it that's all we have to do now let me remove this all code now let's make the project settings go to the project settings or you can simply click on this top project and then go to the project options after this go to the parameters and inside the parameters there is a linker option inside the linker we have to paste this code uh, this code will be provided to you uh, okay in description you can check out and just simply paste here now go to the directories and here we have to include the direct directories which we have downloaded from the sfml site this is the uh, basically file which i have downloaded simply right click on it and extract it that's all we have to do and you will get this type of folder like this and open this folder and inside this folder there is uh, several folders the main the important folders are include and the lib simply go inside the lib and copy the path of it and go back to the dev c++ and here uh, go to this include directory section and paste the path and click on the add now this is added then go to the library directories and now select this lib path copy the path and paste sorry paste here add and that's it that's all we have to do parameters are set directories are set and in general make sure you have chosen win32 uh, gui and that's all okay and make sure here in top you have selected 64-bit release 
okay and now we can put uh, put the code here copy the code this is the small program to create a circle and now save the file with the dot cpp extension that's all now let's try to execute this and there you can see it's not working why because it says sfml graphics uh, dot ddl was not found uh, now how to solve this error it's very easy go back to the folder which we have extracted of course the sfml folder and there is a bean folder here and go inside this bin folder copy all these files and then go to the folder which we have created for the project this was the high high folder which we created and inside this project simply paste all those files which we have copied right now and go back to your dev c plus plus and click on rebuild all and now we can compile and run this and this is how you do it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. At least you can subscribe and you can check out the tutorials of SFML. Thank you so much. Links will be in description. Bye. Take care.